Rumble. The rumble of the Florence Lee breaks the winter silence of the St. Joe River Valley. At just five miles an hour, the tugboat slowly slices through the ice, trying to keep it from building up. Running hard. It's running real hard. Benoit County declared a state of emergency yesterday. So did the governor, making it possible to hire John Condon and his crew to break the ice. You know, it's, uh, it's a sheer force of nature out there. You can really feel uh, the power of Mother Nature when you're out there on a boat. That's a 58-foot boat, and uh, it feels like a little dinghy out there when you're hitting the ice and the, and the current's pushing you around like that. Condon started yesterday when an ice dam backed up the river, threatening neighbors in Calder. The ice is taking out everything in its path. Well, there's a lot of, as you notice, a lot of docks and pilings and such that go with the ice, you know, so it's, um, there's a lot of damage uh, that happens when you get a catastrophic event like this. Even a raft. Paul Bratner and his family live along the river. They almost lost their boat. Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. It was a lot of pulleys and ropes situated to get that boat up. But it's finally up and obviously it's still floating. <laughs> Historically, ice buildup like this has never been a problem along the St. Joe. For decades, tugboats have used this river to haul logs downstream to Coeur d'Alene, breaking up the ice along the way. But now, with the mills closed in Coeur d'Alene, that's no longer the case. The ice has yet to cause any major problems in St. Mary's, and the county hopes it stays that way. An ice dam near town could cause major damage to roads, bridges, the levee, and sewer system. I'm pretty thankful because it helps get rid of most of the ice and stuff, and it makes that water flow so it doesn't flood as bad. Along the St. Joe River, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.